We're all used to thinking in terms of decimal numeral system. Our brain is so accustomed to it that it immediately recreates a visual representation of a decimal number whenever we hear it or read it. If I told you this box contained 5 matches and this one 45 matches, your brain would visualize these numbers long before you actually saw the contents of the boxes. When it comes to decimal numbers, most people are capable of doing basic mathematical tasks in their head. And if I asked you to count these matches, you could do it in a snap. So, what is counting exactly? Counting is basically a process of incrementing a number based on a certain event or action. In our case, moving a match from one pile to another. So, as we count from 1 to 9, we can get away with a single figure. But when we hit 10, we must transfer a digit from one column to the other, which in mathematics is referred to as carry. As we go on counting, the least significant digit increments and the most significant digit remains intact. When we reach another 10, we have to increment the most significant digit while the least significant one is replaced by zero. If we kept moving these matches for a while, their number could grow up to several thousand, and the digit count would increase accordingly. If the number in question were, for example, 4285, we could say that it contains 5 ones, 8 tens, 2 hundreds, and 4 thousands. So, in a decimal number, the weights of any two neighboring digits differ by 10 times. A hundred is 10 times larger than a 10, and a thousand is 10 times larger than a hundred. And the number of digits used to represent numerals in decimal is also 10, that's 0 to 9. So, the system uses 10 as its base number, that's why it's called base 10 numbering system. As opposed to decimal, binary uses only two digits to produce numbers, and they are 0 and 1. Yet, all the principles that apply to decimal system also work in binary, with the exception that we are limited to only two digits. How does that work? Let's go back to our matches and see. We moved a single match, so we put down a 1. Not that different so far, agree? Now, here comes match number 2. What do we write down now? There is no 2 in binary, and it looks like we've already run out of digits. What are we supposed to do? Exactly, carry. We move our 1 to the most significant column and replace it by 0. How many matches do we have here? 2. That means 1, 0 equals 2 in binary system. Please pay attention. This numeral is not a 10, and it is not correct to call it that. Binary numbers are only spelled digit by digit, like this, 1, 0. Ok, what do we do here? Just increment the least significant column, like this. How many matches? 3. That means 1-1 one, one stands for 3 in binary. Ok, we have filled two places already, because 1 is the maximum digit we can use in binary, just like we would use 9 in decimal. Now what? 1 goes here, zeros go there. We applied carry again, and it looks like we've come up with a binary 4. 5 6 7 8 9 10 It appears we did not fill all the binary places. So let us go on. Count up to 11 12 
13 14 15 There 1111 in binary means 15 By the way, digits in binary system are called bits In fact, that's what the word bit stands for Binary digit Bit is the smallest unit of information In computing, bits are always numbered That allows a programmer to identify bit positions in a binary number Bit numbering always starts at zero And bit zero is always furthest to the right Let us split this number into bits And represent it as a sum Just like in decimal, bits have weights And as the bit number increases, its weight grows However, instead of tens, hundreds and thousands, here we have ones, twos, fours and eights. Bit zero is the number of ones. Bit one, the number of twos. Bit two would be the count of fours contained in this number. We double the weight as we move from right to left. And bit three would be the number of eights. Now, let us apply this knowledge and use bit weights to convert our binary numeral to decimal. All we have to do is multiply the value of each bit by its weight, then add up the results. Like this. Now let us rewind and try it on a different number. 1 times 0 plus 2 times 1 plus 4 times 0 plus 8 times 1 equals 10. If we were to convert a larger binary number, we'd have to use larger weights. For example, for an 8-bit number, which is called byte in programming, we would also use 1, 2, 4 and 8, and then 16, 32, 64 and 128. So if we had to convert this binary number into decimal, the result would be 218. And if we set all 8 bits of the byte to 1, it would amount to 255. This number may sound familiar because it's the maximum value a byte can take. In electronics, counting is done by a counter integrated circuit. So, if every match we moved could trigger a positive pulse fed to the counter's input, the counter would do the work for us. In fact, in digital devices, all data processing, storage and transmission is done in binary format. And I hope this makes it clear for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. This was Ron Martino.